type of weaving hem stitch hello i wanna tell you about very interesting experiment today this experiment was quite curious for myself and i hope i can get you interested it in too We are used to different types of weaving. Some of them originate from wine weaving or straw weaving, from different materials. Exactly this one type of weaving originate from embroidery. Once looking through Pinterest, I got a look on an interesting embroidery pattern. As my hands reached for the tubes, I tried to reproduce this pattern. That's how this type of weaving comes from. I didn't come up with the correct name for it still. My husband mentioned that it's like as a chain mail or curious and I see sea waves on this weaving. After some time we will think about correct naming because this type of weaving excite me more than even root weaving. The biggest difference is that there are no basic tubes at all. We take tube and immediately start to weave with that one. I will show you everything in process and now get a look on forms we can make. This is one of my first products. It's made from the tubes for kitchen. This is one can be used as flower pot this one i use like a vase it's my last product made from thick tubes and just finished here i made wide open work product for flower pot too this one can be used as a braid for a big bottle One more small kitchen vase. And one more flower pot with such specific form. Also, I tried to make such a round cake set. As you see, a lot of different forms and products you can make with such type of weaving. Your products can look like open work like this or more tight with smaller gaps. As I used here for the bottom of this basket. Today we will start from round bottom. And I will show you how to make it more tight or more open work. The correct processing of the materials is of the great importance. I will use thin tubes, like I did here. Uh, 
these tubes are made from 5 cm strip twisted at 1.5 cm axis. And here I used tubes from 7 or 8 cm strips twist it at one point centimeter axis two. Just finished ways. I wore also from fixed tubes. It's not primered yet. As you can see, I suggest to try both variants and see which one you like better. So these tubes are made from ordinary news blank newspaper, five centimeter strip twisted at 1.2 cm axis. They are painted with stain with the addition of a primer. I use two or three spoons of a primer for half liter liquid. After drying, I thread them with dufa. They are quite sticky, but it is convenient to weave with them. I start with a small circle like that. Before I try different versions, this one shows up like best for me but you can find better way so I made a circle let my tube in the middle and then go through this loop outside again into the middle and outside through the loop trying to make them equal now i'm creating the loops on which next rows will be based here is time to build up tube Hold this place carefully. Let's make five equal petals. Now I will use these loops. We already start the second row. First time goes here and outside. Once again. I use the same loop to increase the row. Now I'll show you a nice way how to build up tubes. Here just under the loop.
connection is hidden under the loop. I made two turns into this loop, so it's time to move forward to the next one. Simply let my tube into the middle and then go through previous loop outside. These loops are rather small. I tried to make them equal size. One more time to the same loop, as we are making bigger cell circle. Now we go to the next loop in this row and continue making two turns in each previous row loop. Here is the first and the second again. It looks rather complicated at the beginning, as you already know. Beginning is always more or less complicated. Let's continue. We have two here, so now I move forward. Our pattern begins to emerge. This one loop is a little bit bigger here. We also can make three turns to the same loop if necessary, but let's try to make everything similar. One and one more. I'll show you once more how to build up tubes. It's better to use short and thin tubes for small products and tubes can be thicker and longer for bigger products. We made last two here. Gradually move to the next row. I use different quantity of turns depending on how the pattern fits. The main thing is that the work is not bent. Like here. I made two turns into one loop and only one turn to the next one loop. Then two turns again. Building up. One, two, again, one. It is necessary to decide how big you want to make these holes and keep the side equal to all of them. You always can stretch or correct them.
there are a lot of building up process but due to airiness the product is woven quite quickly for example I made this plate last night in a few hours despite the facts that I used rather short tubes approximately 20 centimeters each of them so I need to build up each two turns don't be afraid to do a lot of connections I want to mention one more fact even here all places of connections are already hidden within next row you will hide them more properly and even strengthen them by next row loop that's why this type of weaving is strong enough I finished one more row and now I would like mark the beginning it's just easier for next weaving I use a pin here depends on the pattern now I can make double turns in each third loop one two and two turns into the third loop one more after building up and continue to repeat like this as far as we are weaving bottom all these loops are rather small this ensures the strength of the product as whole so during this row I will make double turns in each third lo loop at the next row it can be enough to make double turns in each fourth loop the main thing is to keep the same size for all holes I will show you all the materials I used at the end of this masterclass Here I wove seven rolls and now it's time to raise out pattern. I'll place my future weaving vertically and increase the size of each loop. First, I try to use pencils from the forming proper loop size, but then realized that it's much easier to simply use my fingers. You will need some practice to fit it in proper way. Just try to make all loop equal by size. For rounding my form, 
I used to double turns in each fifth loop at the first row. And decide to make double turns in each third loop after. Depends how you like it. Usually I add additional loop during first and third rows. Let me show you here. This is beginning of the row. One, two, three, four, five. And here I make additional turn to the same loop. It means double turn in the fifth loop. And continue like this five single again. At the same time, I form the correct slope of the accent. Our first row is transitional. All my products are made in the same way. This type of weaving is similar to Burkina Faso or Paragoric style, which more the plastic natural contour without strict geometrics. One, two, three, four, and five. These products are very soft in the beginning. They needed to be proper proceed. I primersed them first, let them dry, and cover with varnish then. I used to connect tubes always in the same place. Experimentally, I found such a size of the loops that allows me to make three turns and cut off the tiny tile of the tube. Here is one, two, three, four, five. And one more additional turn for rounding my form. Continue like this to the end of the row. According to how I work, I adjust my plans. Here I make double turn every fifth loop in the first row. Then I move the second row without doubling 
and I understand that I don't need to explain to any more. That's why I continue to view without adding any turns. Few rows more. In this one, as I told you before, I double loop twice during first and third rows. So, you are free to design your product shape. I need few more rows for my plate. Here, how it's like. Now it's time to end weaving. As far as it's possible to adjust the height of the row, I reduce the size for few last loops. just in front of our pin which make the big marks the beginning of the row one more small loop And I'll hide this tail somewhere here. Here and here. That's enough. And now we can cut it. Now you can adjust and correct the form while primering. This one is already primered. And this one is uh, t was t treated with primer and varnish. And it's rather solid. I want to mention one more experiment. Once I thought that it will be nice to make shape by changing loop size. So I tried this one. As you see, it's not cute enough. I gave up on this idea and decide that it's better to change quantity of loops in the row. At the next master class I would like to explain you how to make the oval shape of your product and specific of narrowing. Also, I want to show you the materials that were used here. Here is wood stain on the water basic this tree. And this is my dufa for impregnation of tubes.
at the end I want to show you how this product looks like one more time. Here flower pot and vase. This vase still needed to be primered. This one is quite solid and this one is still soft. But tubes are thicker here. I plan to try different versions in future and will share them with you. All the best for you.